Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the super important questions of object-oriented modeling and designing. So, uh, in this video, I have uh, collected the uh, previous questions uh, from the different uh, question papers, and I've uh, written down here, as well as the topics which are more important and which are most repeated ones that I've written here. Okay. So, if you already know about uh, the concepts which are present in the um, modules, and uh, if uh, just going through the document will uh, get you know uh, means. That, uh, that would be sufficient for you, then you can uh, means go through our document or else you can watch this video. Okay. So, uh, before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. Okay. So, from the module 1, the important topics are the object orientation and generalization, aggregation, composition, and inheritance. Okay. So, object orientation, there are few things like, for example, what is orient object oriented, uh, what, what is object orientation uh, aspects with example you have to explain object oriented themes and the models used in the OO modeling and the design and the modeling concept class model of the windowing system and rectification. So, basically you need to know the uh, uh, basics of object orientation and its principles. Coming to generalization, aggregation, composition and inheritance, these are the concepts which you need to know and there is a uh, concept called as, as uh, there is a concept called as association and in that there are subtopics you need to know that uh, very well as well. Okay. Uh, moving on to the module 2, we have the important topics, use case diagrams. St uh, system sequence diagram and state chart diagram. The important one is the system sequence diagram. Okay, so from the use case diagram, these are the questions, the different use case diagrams, uh, diagrams for the different scenarios, and the system sequence diagram, uh, like this. What are the different sequence diagram based on the activity diagram and uh, generic and repeating messages? Coming to the state uh, chart diagram, there is uh, the ordered item state chart diagram and uh, explain it with the steps and development state chart diagram. So uh, these are the concepts important from the module two. Coming to module 3, there are uh, not like just uh, one concept which is asked, like uh, there are repeated concepts uh, around these uh, topics, software development status, domain state model, waterfall and iterative model very important, new system concept, domain analysis and ATM system. So explain the software uh, development status in detail, what are the different constructions in our uh, domain state model, waterfall iterative model, different ways of uh, finding new system concept, overview of domain analysis and ATM. Okay. Moving on to the module 4, uh, the topics are object oriented programs and the design principles and uh, what are the topics like in the object oriented program, you know the basics regarding that, overview of object oriented programs, what are its design models and the responsibilities, implementation issues and the process and the principles, use case controller and from the design classes, the different types of design classes like the four uh, types of standard design classes, how to update the design class diagram, responsibilities of class objects. Um, with lookup item avail availability use case and what are the systems used in the communication diagrams and the communication diagram for lookup availability explain the listen explain the primary responsibility of viewer uh, view layer classes domain layer class and data access layer classes okay so these were the important concepts from module 4 and coming to the module 5 the two main topics are the design patterns and consequences and other patterns design pattern is very important concept like what is the design pattern essential items how to select and use a design pattern five design problems and I explain how the design pattern solve them and the consequences are asked from the singleton and ad adapter class, prototype class, applicability and structure of proxy pattern and applicability and benefits and liabilities of abstract uh, factor pattern and what is creational and structural pattern. So these were the important concepts what I found uh, from the previous year papers uh, from the object oriented um, designing and model. So uh, if you have any doubt you can uh, ping me on Instagram my uh, ID is in the description box and Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.